Hi guys, it is November um, 13th, Friday um, of 2015. This is a word that the Lord shared with me yesterday. It's very long. Um, I'm going to add some scripture. There's a, a bunch of scripture that would go with this. Um, how I'm feeling the Lord working with me right now is he's really trying to show me, I believe that um, we are just not using our authority and and walking in um, his truth. We We especially his bride who understand um, I think I I actually was doubting um, this a little bit and I you know I before in my walk I never would have doubted but but lately I don't know if it's just been more attack from the enemy but um, I was actually you know <sighs> I listened to a teaching about God being sovereign, but that he is not in control of all things. And I thought, okay, that that can make sense because when bad things happen, um, that is not God's will for people to be sick, guys. It's not God's will for people to um, be in crises. It's not his will. It is the fact that, you know, we are on a fallen planet and there's only so much that um, the Lord can do with us when we're not receiving um, what he has to offer us. You know, it's very easy for us to receive everything that um the enemy has to offer us because we're bombarded with it throughout each day, every day. It's all around us. Um, it's darkness and it's everywhere. <laughs> the light, um, God will free, freely give us. And, and um, the problem with what is happening right now is we are not faithfully receiving his power and his majesty and his glory. We're not receiving it. We're, it's almost, many of us are so focused on the darkness that we're not able to receive what he wants to so badly give us. So I need to get a better understanding of a way to explain how he's working this transition in my heart and mind and spirit. I don't know how to really put it into words other than to say we are already seated in those heavenly places with our Father. And so the things that are happening to us here, I'm not saying that they don't matter. I'm just saying if we're already there, if we're already in heavenly places, then how much effect should these things on this earth right now be having upon us? Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people still are, you know, trying to figure out dates and rapture dates and all of these things and, you know, figuring out wh whether the children will go taken home first, all of these things. And, you know, I I've come to the conclusion I have faith that God is going to do it the way he wants to do it. And I don't really need to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out when. Um, we're on this earth right now. And what we should be doing is kingdom living because we are his children. We are his subjects. Um, we are subjects of the most high. We live in uh, God's kingdom right now. And though we are uh, in these bodies on this earth, um, we are called to higher things than just being um, a human being walking around on this planet. We are we are called to higher things. We are called to be um, receiving all of the good things that our Father wants to give us. Um, what I compare it to is 
um, royalty, like a prince or a princess, living in the street with no shoes, begging for food, um, with the castle of the king right down the street. Um, they are a king, or I mean a, a daughter or a son of a king, yet they live in the street with um, no shoes and they're hungry, yet they have royal blood coursing through their veins. They just don't know that the king is looking for them, wondering where they went, saying, hey, I have a lost son or daughter out there that um, I, I want to find. And, and the child is, you know, laying homeless in the street with no, no um, money, n nothing, um, sickly and poor. And the father so wants to find their child and he wants to shower that child with um, everything that his, his kingdom um, and his kingship would afford him to give this child. The child doesn't even know their royalty, even though they share the same blood as the king and they lay there hungry in the street. That's what we're doing, guys. We we need to realize who our king is. We need to go home to the kingdom. We can't lay in the street hungry and <laughs> spit upon by the other people around us. We need to receive our kingdom inheritance. We need to realize the inheritance that we have in our Father, that we're not receiving it, we're not taking it. And, you know, the Lord, I don't know, I, I'm not very good about citing verse and, and scripture, but I know there's a scripture in the Bible that commands um, the disciples to go out and walk upon the earth and spread the gospel and heal and cast out demons, and what are we doing? Are we doing this? I mean, I'm talking about myself, because I know I'm not. I'm not doing it, and I have the power to do it through my Father, yet I'm not receiving that power. I'm not um, operating in the, the way of His kingdom. I am still stuck here on this earth as the child who doesn't even know that I have royal blood flowing through my veins. Um, I'm stuck here on this planet uh, walking as uh, just any old human would walk. I am not realizing my inheritance. I am not seeing that I have royal, royal blood coursing through my veins, which with that comes the power and uh the majesty of our Father, and with that comes power against the enemy. And so many of us are just walking without our realization, without receiving this power. And I just, I God is just trying to to lay that on my heart so strongly now. Um, and I guess I think I'm gonna probably have to do another. Uh, video for the word <laughs> that I got yesterday but um okay so I'm gonna do that now I'll put up another video sorry guys too long